Okay, guys, um, why don't I just add this as well as a bonus uh, section here for this uh, well, tutorial. You know how I put the, the uh, checkered, the checkered shape, uh, what am I saying? Checkered texture, that's it. It's not really a texture, it's just a graphic representation in a grid. What I want to do right now is actually bring an actual picture from the internet and I thank the people at galleyrptools.net for having this awesome picture right here. You guys know you can right click and save. Right, and what I usually do is I immediately put it in my Maya source file under, um, I'll show you that in a second. Anyway, so we can download Chessboard, really easy, research, done, thank you again, RP Tools. All right, um, what I like to do since that is a square, so why don't I just come back to Polyplane and look at this guy here. Let's make it 45 by 45, okay, and that's it right there. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, control A, and I can go to Lambert there. Remember how we had the color change? And we went over here to add checkers, right? So what I'm just going to do is just uh, pop a new one, okay? When in doubt, just do this. Although this is not the best method. Assign new material, Lambert, okay? As if nothing really happened. Nothing's here. So we know. We just bypass color in this area. Click on the checkered. And as I said before, file. So at this point, Maya is looking for the file. Watch this now. I actually put my chessboard image inside my Maya recording for source images. So this is where I recommend you guys, when you download something, immediately put it in source images. It'll always be with you. And there it is, right? Open. Boom. Look how sweet that is. That looks awesome. So now if I just come around and uh, let's, let's move these guys in their appropriate places. W, of course. And you're over a bit. There you go. Place that there. This one over a bit more. Again, we're in W mode, which means move. Okay, let's center that. And, you know, since this is a chessboard set, uh, let's make two colors, okay? We'll just go uh, bright red. How's that? Just for fun, you know, as you can see, red. And you, my friend, are going to be white. And the other one will be white too, okay? So I'll just pick white here. Done. And this guy is going to be white as well. Change it from blue to a lovely white. And done. Next thing we'll do is we'll position our camera accordingly. And that looks pretty good. A little off center, a little of thirds perhaps. Right there. Okay, good enough for now, guys. Uh, never happy. It's easier if I place a camera in there. You know, and I'm just holding um, Option, Alt, and right clicking to, to make that. Okay, so here we go. I think that looks pretty good. Go to our second clipboard here, take a shot. And maybe in this setting, yeah, see the red is clashing a bit, but that's okay. That's all right. We can change that maybe to black. Yeah, you know, it's all good. That looks all right. I think this is pretty nice. So we have an actual texture. It looks really good. And again, I will save my file. <laughs> Look where it went. Nice. Uh, save image as my number eight at this point. Okay. Actually, in this session, why don't we just go to the settings as well to double check a few things. Okay. Since we are going for print, um, let's do this. My shot, uh, I don't need that. There, title if I was rendering. Um, down here, what I did is I went to custom, okay? And sometimes it's kind of tricky because you click and it won't pick custom, but custom is good. And the next thing I want you to do is change to two inches, okay? Since we are making a nice high res image, our document is 100 pixels per inch. I'm going to change this to 150, okay? So you can go six by whatever you want, five by five. You decide, tab. So right now, the rendering that I'm actually taking is actually six inches by four and a half inches. How do I know that? Boom, right there, inches. Custom, lovely. Next thing, quality, and I've always gone to production. It's somewhere over here, production. Okay, cool. So um, we'll leave it at that, close this. Again, take the second shot. Uh, Skyfall has been a good influence on everyone, I think. Um, anyhow, oh boy. That's not looking too awesome, but there's my shot, uh, 6 by 4 I'll have to play around with my angles and so on, but again, it's still here. It looks okay. You can save it accordingly. All right, belly and out, short and sweet. Bye-bye.